are standing here with Bobby Uganski, who is the owner and I guess builder of this amazing Texas sports bus. He's uh, given us some great information on it so far, but I think we really just want to know why you built this in the first place. Well, when you live in Austin and you have a team to root for like the Longhorns, I mean, that will spur some creativity in anybody. And truly, I built the thing to uh, allow all the fans to come out and root for this awesome team. You know, that brings me to a rumor that you do not actually attend the games. And why is that? I have never been in a football game. That is true. I smoke and I drink, and I'm going to watch the game out here with all my friends and tailgate. That's our support. That's just, any, any superstitions? Why, though? No superstitions. It's uh, I'm old enough. I'm not going to be sneaking beer in a stadium and or trying to hide and smoke somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to allow myself to do it freely. That's the way you do it. So, and how long have you had this one? This bus is three years old. Three years old. What what can you do on this bus? I mean, what's what's up what's up top? Probably the shorter list would be what you can't do. <laughs> I, I really built the thing to uh, accommodate anyone who would come up. You know, uh, if you're up top and it's a sunny, hot day, it's right. canopied up top, so you're not in the sun. It's got uh, 18 fans up there to keep you cool. 42-inch flat screen stereo system. It's like a boat. Absolutely. Down below, we have a, another canopy with a mister system. If it's really hot, to kind of cool you off a little bit. Inside, there's three uh, air conditioners, hardwood floors, uh, dry bar, four flat screens on the inside, two rooms, the Longhorn Lounge, and the Lucky Lounge. The Lucky. How do you get into the Lucky Lounge? By permission only. And let me tell you, nobody gets permission. That, Nobody. That's my room. Not even like Heidi Klum or? Uh, could be, could be. So um, can I get a tour of the upstairs or is that not possible? Absolutely. Yes. No problem. Okay. We'll give it to you. No, no all problem right. at all. Let's can we have it. that way, Joe? Let's do it. So we're up here on the bus, upper deck level. Uh, tell us a little bit about this layout. Well, I, I built the upper deck where it's uh, basically all automated. I hit a button on a winch and this whole canopy raises and lowers in 60 seconds. So it's very user friendly for me. Everyone's under the shade. We've got disco lights, the flat screen TV. We've got boxes up here with uh, ample chairs for everyone who wants to come up and watch the game and root those longhorns. <laughs> um, so I know this is probably a question I shouldn't ask, but how much did this cost? More than a man of my means should usually be spending on a contraption like this. But once you get into something, I find that either you go all out or you don't do it. I've got about $45,000 in this bus. Whoa. Is it worth the expense so far? It really is. I mean, the, uh, the biggest joy I get out of it is seeing people come up or inside and seeing the look on their face and they're totally surprised and you can see the elation on their faces. And I'm like, at the end of the day, that makes it so worthwhile. <laughs> Bobby, let me ask you one more thing. Have you let any A&M fans in or around your area? I do, you know, if, if we all rooted for the same team in the world, it'd be a boring place. As long as other fans are uh, gracious and respectful, I don't have a problem with anybody. I, it, it's, it's just a sad shame they can't be a Longhorn. Shuffling here with Texas Game Day Rivals. Back to you, Joe.